Hi everyone, I'm attorney Aiden Kramer with the law office of Aiden H. Kramer in Colorado and you're watching All Up In Your Business, Kitty Edition. Oh. So something you may not know about me, I'm a pretty crazy animal person. I love all kinds of animals, I am a very strict vegetarian, and I try to volunteer as much as I can with different animal shelters. And uh, part of that is fostering animals. These little monsters are, are some foster kittens that I've had for a few weeks. Just taking care of them for a local animal shelter until they are big enough and healthy enough to be adopted out. So I brought them into the office today and wanted to show them off in uh, one of my episodes. So I've got these two little temporary adorable kitties. There's another one roaming around somewhere. I've also got my own dog here. This is Rocky. Rocky's a very good guy. He's not a foster. Rocky is my own dog um, and he loves the kittens just as much as I do. <laughs> What this episode is today, it's not just um, a parade of random animals and adorable little kittens doing random stuff in the back. Um, in order to kind of tie in the animals with law, I'm going to talk about a few estate planning things for pet owners. Since my pets, my dog Rocky, and I have another cat at home uh, who belongs to me, his name is Meowsers. Since Rocky and Meowsers are pretty much the closest things that I have to kids, I understand that it's very important to pet owners to make sure that your pets are going to be properly taken care of if something happens to you. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. It's a few things that you can do as a pet owner to make sure your pets are going to be taken care of if something happens to you. One thing that you can do if you have a lot of money and you really, really care about making sure your pets are taken care of is you can set up a pet trust. So this is basically where three actors, you as the settler, uh, create a trust for a person called the trustee to manage any money for the benefit of the beneficiaries. So in this instance, you're the settler and the trustee can be a friend or a bank or a relative, somebody that you trust to manage that money. And then the beneficiary is going to be your pet, your dog, your cat, your horse, whatever you want it to be. So you put this money into a trust and you give instructions for how the money is to be used for the care of your pet. And the trustee is in charge of making sure that money in the trust is used to take care of your pet. And the trustee has what's called a fiduciary duty to make sure the money is used for the care of your pet. So because the trustee is a fiduciary, the trustee can't just go and spend that money on himself or uh, blow it somehow without considering the fact that it needs to be spent on the care of your pet. So setting up a pet trust can be a bit of work and can be pretty expensive and it's a lot of administrative work that goes into it. So it's not too typical just with regular everyday people. Usually this is uh, for people that have uh, quite a bit amount of money that they want to set aside for the pet and want to make sure that that money is going to be protected for the care of their pet. The other option, which is probably more realistic for most people, is going to be to put a provision in your will saying who you want to take care of your pet when you die. So you can say, I want my dog, Rocky, to go to my mom or to my friend or whoever you want to take care of your pet. And then you can also gift a certain amount of money to that person with the intention that they spend that money on your pet. Now, this isn't quite as restrictive and um, ironclad as a trust because when you're giving the pet and this money to this person in your will, that person doesn't have that fiduciary duty like they would if they were a trustee. So while you can say, I'm giving my dog Rocky to my mom along with $5,000 to be spent on the care of Rocky, while you give that in instruction to them, there's nothing really forcing that person to spend that money. So you have to make sure it's a close friend or a family member that you know is going to take good care of that pet. So that's a pretty simplified version of estate planning for pets. 
really I kind of just wanted to get these little critters into a video and relate it somehow to law. I am, as I mentioned, a pretty big animal person and I'm huge on fostering and adopting and rescuing animals and so I just kind of wanted to use this platform to get that message across and to say if you can help or donate your time or money to animal shelters to helping adorable little kitties who scratch up your chest and chew on things and <laughs> ruin your life. I'm just kidding, they're sweet. Um, if, you, if you can and you're so inclined, I think that's fantastic and I think it's a great thing for people to do. If you have any questions about pets or how you can help little kitties like this or estate planning for your pet, go ahead and comment them below. If you're in Colorado and you want to speak with me specifically about possibly getting a trust or something in your will set up to make sure your pets are going to be taken care of, go ahead and contact me. My phone number and email are below. Otherwise, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Aiden Kramer. This is Kitten One. I haven't named them yet because um, I won't be keeping them for very long. Thanks so much. I'm Aiden Kramer and I'll see you next time.